developments tonight and the continued fallout for subway spokesman Jared Fogle. Just two days after state and federal authorities raided his Zionsville home, NBC Universal confirms it has pulled a cameo of Fogle from the upcoming made for TV movie Sharknado 3. RTV6's Katie Hines explains from Zionsville. The yanked appearance is the latest fallout from the investigation. And tonight, the future of Jared Fogel's nonprofit foundation remains unclear. All of the pages on the foundation's website are blank. The organization's mission statement, pictures, and contact information gone. A member of the Jared Foundation's board of directors won't comment on the status of the foundation. Investigators spent 11 hours at Fogel's house on Tuesday collecting electronics and other potential evidence. The FBI isn't confirming the status of the investigation or its nature, including whether Fogel is the target. This spring, Fogel's former business partner and the executive director of his foundation, Russell Taylor, was charged with seven counts of production and one count of possession of child pornography. Fogel's attorney tells us he's cooperating with authorities. He stresses Fogel hasn't been detained, arrested, or charged with any crime or offense. But Subway and the well-known spokesman mutually agreed to suspend their relationship. And yesterday, reports surfaced that a Children's Health Charity had also severed ties with Fogel. Reporting in Zionsville tonight, Katie Hines, RTV6. A Florida woman says she knows why authorities raided that house. She claims to have firsthand knowledge of a recent conversation with Fogel. Hear from her and how Fogel's attorney is responding tonight at 7.